If you already know how to play Bedwars, this video is absolutely not for you. This is really for beginners. And the reason why I'm making this video is for all of you who have been asking me for some time now, DV, can you make a tutorial or a tips video on how to play Bedwars because I don't know what it's about. Maybe you're from Islands, maybe you play Pet Simulator X and you really want to play this game but don't know how to. This video is for you. So if you're new to the game, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So first up, it might be a little intimidating. When you first join the game, you might see all of these kits, right? And and for all of us who have been playing the game for a while, this is just not enough content. We want more and we want more and we want more. So this game's all about breaking beds for the most part, although we have some modes like Sky Wars here that is not all about bed breaking, but the premise of the game or the main point of the game is to protect your bed. You can see over here, this sign gives you a little bit of a nice overview. You know, when your bed's destroyed, you will not be able to respawn. You collect resources and such to get, you know, this is a really great overview. So a unique aspect of Bed Wars is that there is a system called kits and kits are basically like different classes with with different abilities. So the simple thing here is unless you're ready to, you know, dish out some Robux, you get three kits that you can use for free every week. You can see the next rotations in two days, 17 hours. So currently free, Melody, Lassie, and Cletus. So these aren't a very good example of what kits are about, but you can choose one of these, or if you want to dish out some Robux, you can do so. You can buy some of these Game Pass kits. And then we got some Battle Pass. These little icons here, these little red icons are essentially Battle Pass characters. And I'll show you what the Battle Pass is all about. And then these are again, Game Pass characters you know, Barbarian, you get this cool Rage Blade as you rage up. So I won't really go into a description on all of these. I've got plenty of uh, videos about the kits if you want to check those out in detail. What I would say though is the kits are, you know, a great way to just give yourself a little boost. You don't have to go kits. So I'm just going to stay. Don't worry about my name. I know it says Stormtrooper. Don't worry. You'll see that soon. But um, essentially you can go kitless like I'm going to be. If you have the Robux, get someone like Freya or um, I, I would actually recommend if you're brand new to the game, get uh, either Amy here or get uh, Elder Tree. Elder Tree is a really good one. The nice thing about Elder Tree is that Elder Tree gives you um, like crazy, crazy health. So you can go around the map and collect orbs, which is not very intimidating. So if you don't really, you know, want to do combat right away, you can just go around and play the game and collect orbs to get more and more hit points. And that way you can handle a lot more damage. Um, if someone's trying to attack you, you can, you know, survive a little longer. The other character I would recommend if you're new to the game is Amy. Amy's cool because you can buy these little pet axolotls that um, help give you um, damage and such. So increase attack damage damage, faster break speed, health gen, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I would say those two would be a really good um, new player kit. And then, um, or, or you can even do Cletus. Cletus is kind of fun because you can grow crops and get upgrades and such. He's pretty chill. Now, as far as the battle pass goes, um, battle pass is right here. Click on the little battle pass icon here. And these are things you can unlock. So you get a free, you get a free version of the pass, which, you know, just comes by default. And so you can unlock all these without spending any money on your battle pass. These are like little sprays. There's like titles that can go over your head. And then um, I'll show you how to equip those in a minute and so if you scroll through you can see like if you had the paid version the battle pass itself if you had the paid version you would get you know be able to unlock fisherman um, kit here at level 25 so you grind to be able to unlock these so if you want to be able to equip any of those just go to locker right here and you can um, essentially equip various sprays so these are all the sprays that i own so bed breaker vulcan grave so you can um, equip them and use them you just hit t and they only work in like matches so you have to hit t in a match and it'll spray on a wall just kind of like counter strike or any of those games that have sprays. Going back to the locker, if you want to do different kill effects, um, I have none equipped right now, but you can have like an explosion. So the body kind of, if, you're, if you've ever played Arsenal, it's kind of like that. So you have an explosion effect, um, their body will explode, you get these hearts, and then you get to ascend, which is kind of cool. The body kind of goes up in the air. And then lastly, you can do different titles. So I have, I think I have this one equipped. Yeah, so it's like the little shrug, but there's all kinds of like little emojis and stuff, XD, Dodo. Those are just all cosmetics and just for fun. And then missions are just ways you can grab grind XP. Just go through your daily mission. So you get five kills, you get 2,500 and you deal 800 damage, which should be pretty easy. You just get 2,500 there. And then, you know, right here is your weeklies. So break three beds, get 20 kills. That's just a great way to be able to get a bunch of XP. Let's go into the different modes now. I'll give you a description of these different modes and how they work. So this guy right here allows you to do custom matches. So if you want to be able to join a custom match or host one, you can through him. Verify account does give you some extra bonus. You know, it's bonus XP if you join their discord and verify. These right here do update off. Often. What I would say is the one consistent here is the most popular one, which is Bed Wars Squads. I haven't really seen that go away. Bed Wars Doubles hasn't really either. So these two right here have been fairly consistent, as has Solo. So these these three actually have been pretty consistent. And then they do um, these like, this is pretty new. This is the ranked matches. So ranked games give you like these cool ranks right here. So you can see I'm Nightmare right now. And that's just a great way for you to be able to, you know, climb and such. So if you want to be able to get like 
ranked on the leaderboard in some kind of cool rank icon and such, then that's the way to go. I'm not positive it's going to reset with the new season. I think it is, but um, I believe the top people in the ranked leaderboard here are going to get rewards. So that is something to be aware of in case you really, really, really want to grind. You essentially need to play, I think it's like five matches and you get qualified and you get a, uh, your initial rank. These right here are pretty much limited time modes, although Lucky Block looks like they removed the um, limited time mode text to see right here under the, the titles. It says limited time mode or they call them LTMs. So these are currently the two LTMs. It looks like they may, may have made Lucky Blocks permanent. Kind of a silly mode. So Lucky Blocks basically is just a crazy mode. You get these blocks around the map that spawn. You go and use your pickaxe and it's kind of like Mario Kart or something. You know, you get like a random item. Um, I think Minecraft has some similar modes too. And then Sky Wars is basically a bedless version of the game. And then 30v30 is what it says. It's basically two teams of 30. So I'm going to go into a custom real quick just so I can show you a little bit how to play without having the stress of people chasing me around the map to get screenshots or to kill me. <laughs> so we're going to go into a, just a regular custom match. All right. So first things first, you start out with a sword. Everyone gets a basic wooden sword. There's different types of swords. You can see here, you can get better swords later, including the ones that are in the armory. Some kits have their own swords that you can unlock as well, like the Barbarian and Freya. So, you know, just something to consider. You also get a pickaxe, which you can use to break stuff. So you're going to break beds with pickaxe is at least that's one way you can break a bed. There's other tools you can use for breaking beds. Pickaxe is one. So quick tour of your base. This is your bed. You want to protect this at all costs. If this gets broken, pretty much if you jump off like this, then you won't respawn like I am right now. So I killed by the void. It's respawning. Now this respawn time does increase the longer the game goes on, the you know longer your respawn is. So um, this right here is your team generator. It's tier, it starts out with tier zero. So you can see there's, you know, you've got some iron here. It goes at this small of a rate. It is shared. So what that means is um, if I have a teammate, they come over here and they sit here with me, it's not like they're taking iron from me. So it is shared. You're getting the same amount of iron they are. The only thing that's not shared is this generator here. If it's like a pool of iron here, that's just sitting here. That's not shared unless you know how to um, split gen. Over here is your chest. So you got a personal chest, whatever's in here only you can access. So to put stuff in there, click on that to put it in your inventory, then put it into the chest and you can take it out. This right here is a um, basically a team chest. So the other thing is, you know, you can see right here, there's two looking weird looking dudes. <laughs> so right here is the item shop and right here is your diamond or team upgrades. I always call them a diamond shop, but basically team upgrades cost diamond. Um, and so you can get those on this um, little islands I'm going to show you in a minute. But essentially here, if you hit F, you'll be able to see all the different upgrades. I'm going to explain those in a minute. And if you come over here and go to the item shop guy, there's blocks you can buy. Um, you can get different types of blocks. You can use these to protect your bed or you can use them to bridge and such to travel. This right here is essentially wool. That's your most basic one. I'm going to go buy some right here. So this is what wool looks like. Pretty basic block. You can cover your, your bed this way. And that way, if someone were to, you know, go like this, it takes them a little while longer to get to your bed, right? It's just bed defense. As far as uh, basic bed defense, you can use wool. Most people um, immediately cover their bed with wool, but you could use stronger materials like either um, stone, which costs 48 iron instead of that cheap eight iron, or you can get um, wood. So I'll show you the differences between these, but I can tell you stone is definitely tougher than um, wool. You can see right, that's just the difference here with the standard, you know, wooden pickaxe. But if you were to try to break wood with a uh, with the wooden pickaxe, it's it's pretty strong. You can see it takes a while. Now, what, what's going to destroy wood faster is an axe. So there's different tools you can use. Different tools um, do different things. The other thing you can do is you can get um, ceramic, which is this stuff. It's easier to break than um, wool. But the nice thing what it does is if someone were to put TNT or an explosive on it, it won't break. That's why they call it blast proof. So it's blast proof ceramic. And the nice thing about that is it protects your bed. So if someone were to go and like TNT, they would still have to come down here and break that before they can go and break your bed. Additionally, what you have here is obsidian. This is one of the strongest items in here, except for coral. But um, coral is a special item you, you can't buy from the shop. You can only get it through fishermen or through lucky blocks or something. But essentially obsidian is um, super strong. It's harder to break. You can use a diamond pickaxe to make it faster, but it's definitely difficult to break. Now, the one thing you're going to be wondering, I did mention diamond pickaxe a couple times as well as an iron axe. The difference between these, so you see, I could just go and straight up skip to an iron sword. You can't do that with the tools. You do have to upgrade the tools, but the nice thing about the tools is you don't lose them. So like swords, you do lose when you die. Armor, as well as bow, as well as um, these three tools here, you don't lose. Same with crossbow. You won't lose that if you die. You will lose everything else. By the way, you notice I, I was able to buy stuff very quickly. You could pretty much just right click on items if you want to quickly buy things. So I can just right click on that and I just buy them. So certain things do require emeralds. Those are higher 
higher end items. The reason why they're emeralds instead of iron is you have to go out to the middle of the island to get those. I'm gonna show you what emeralds are in a moment. Now there's also armor, so I can buy armor right here and now I'm wearing it. This is basically leather armor. So this is gonna give you some level of protection and then you can get iron armor, which also gives you even more protection. This is a really good, this is kind of like a must have, unless you can go armorless if you're you know, a pro player, then you could probably even go without armor for a while. But this next level here is diamond armor and that requires eight emeralds. And then there's one more level above this, which is the emerald armor, which costs a ton of emeralds. It's like 40 emeralds. So if you're really late game, you're pretty much gonna be farming that, that armor. And this one right here is emerald sword that costs 20 emeralds. So in order to be able to get these, you do need to unlock these with um, diamonds. I'm gonna show you diamonds in a second here. Um, I'll give you a quick description of everything else in this um, item shop, just so you know. TNT you can use to break blocks around you. So if you know someone's protecting their bed heavily with a bunch of stone, drop some TNT, you know, blow it up. Tesla's great for um, trapping. Basically, if an enemy comes by it, it zaps them and it does really good damage. So this is good, especially you can plant these in your bed or around your bed. Bow, I have, I'm gonna show you that, but in order to be able to use the bow, you do need ammo, which is, you know, obviously arrows. And this is what it looks like. So you can see the little arch and you let go and that's where it's gonna shoot pretty easy. You just have to buy more if you run out. Similarly is a limited time item here, which is snowballs. And these are really fast, so you can spam them. They don't take long to get back on target, which is nice. So you can use those to break balloons and such. You have your, obviously your sword. So I've got, you know, I could buy that in a minute. I just need some more iron. So I've got swords. So I got this one now. If, like I said, if I die, I lose it. Um, stopwatch is kind of okay. It's, it's a little bit, yeah, I kind of find it useless. Some people know how to use it really well. I haven't yet to see someone do a good job with it. Typically, I just kill them on their way back. So I haven't really seen it being like, oh my gosh, that person just clutched that. They haven't done anything crazy to impress me yet. Fireballs are like, you know, flying TNT. They're they're pretty crazy. They're expensive. They're 90 iron compared to um, TNT's 40. Telepearls fly kind of like shooting a bow. So when you get a, a pearl, you can pretty much do something like this. And it has like this little line of where it's gonna drop and after you throw it so just hold down while you're moving this around and then let go and that throw the pearl and wherever the pearl lands you're pretty much gonna um, teleport to so they're really good for clutching things or getting someone really quick you also have this baguette knockback baguette it's basically exactly what it says it knocks people back it doesn't really make any damage so don't buy this if you think you're gonna be making a ton of damage to someone they're just really good for knocking people they used to be really good now they're kind of useless so I never use them hang gliders are a new limited time item it's pretty cool you can um, fly across the map with it balloons are were a limited time item that stayed in the game Essentially, this gives you, um, when you buy them, you get three of them. It basically gives you an extra life. So if you fall or anything like that, you can still survive and float back up. I'll show you those in a little bit. Shears are really great for breaking wool very quickly. So if you're trying to break through like this kind of stuff very quickly, you can do so. Same with ceramic, but you can't really do it with stone. Stone is not good with shears. You can break it, but it just takes forever. And then obviously, like I said, right here, this can break wood very quickly. So this is what it looks like very quick to break wood. It also breaks beds really quickly. Just something to know. And then armory, I'm gonna show you these things now. Now we need to go out and get diamonds. So now it's a good time for me to show you what diamonds are all about. And so let's go get some. They are over here. I'm just gonna do a little free cam here. Star creators get this thanks to the Bedwars team. So this is where the diamonds are generally. You'll see like these little diamond blocks. Same for this, these are emeralds. See the emerald blocks nearby to give you an indication that emeralds are nearby. So right here you can see the timer for the diamond generator. It's counting down and that's when it's gonna drop again. So first up, I need enough blocks to go over there. Um, the other thing I would say is if you're new to bridging, just put your mouse somewhere above where you're trying to go and you can spam click and just make sure you see that black outline of the blocks and you can just spam that and it just helps you get across. That's just a great way to speed bridge. If you're rushing, you can just continue across to the enemy team. I have an iron ax on me, so I can pretty much just go all the way across. I, I have so many blocks that I can do this. So boom, boom, two, two hits. So, all right, so now that we have diamonds, you can see a lot of things are green now instead of red. These are the costs for each of these upgrades. If I were to upgrade this thing right here, it's gonna make the iron generator go faster. So it'll go from tier zero to one and that'll, that'll drop a lot faster. And eventually you can see right here, it shows the tier descriptions. It goes 50% speed, 100% speed. And this right here shows it spawns emeralds. So it's the same speed as two, but three will start spawning emeralds, which is really nice because you know, I don't have to go out anymore for it. So ultimately everyone wants tier three if they can, because it gives, I mean, Emeralds are so essential to the game. Right here is armored protection. This is really good if you want to get a little buff bonus um, for damage mitigation. It's nice to have that armor. Damage is similar. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, break speed is good if you want to be able to break speed, you know, break uh, blocks faster with your tools. Diamond generator is a new thing that they added recently, which basically mean, means you can spawn diamonds at your, your um, iron generator here. So you can start getting diamonds here, which is really nice. And then armory here lets you get some new weapons. And then same for brewing stand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the 
diamond generator. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit because this is, a, this is a custom. And I'm going to cheat a bit. Basically, I'm going to do a faster generator. It's going to go a lot faster now. See how it's pouring down now? So that's just the customs. I'm in customs right now, so I have full control. Seven diamonds. So let's go and upgrade our generator. And we're going to keep upgrading until we have that maxed out. In the meantime, let's go and unlock these as well. So I'm going to unlock, I'm going to go and unlock brewing stand. And then we're going to unlock armory in a second. So the other thing you can get is um, you can unlock a bed alarm, which is really cool. So what that does is if someone gets near your bed, a red alarm will go off and you also get a little trigger right here, a notification that someone's on your bed. And that's really good if you're, you know, maybe out farming and such and you don't know, or maybe you're just hanging out right here. You're not paying attention. You're looking at the walls. You're looking at everything other than what you should be, aka the game. And suddenly it starts going off. A little notification pops up and you hear the siren. That's really nice. Maybe you're, you know, even just kind of like talking to a friend and suddenly you hear the siren. It just gives you a heads up. All right. So we got another upgrade and then we're going to upgrade our diamond gen again. As soon as we get 12 diamonds, we'll go and upgrade our generator to tier three. I'll go ahead and get some um, TNT and fireballs real quick so I can show you what those are like. So it's a really good ranged attack. And then if you want, you can um, just place these to blow up your bed. <laughs> so that's what it's like. It won't damage the bed itself, but it will um, damage the blocks around it. All right, we got plenty of diamonds. So let's go ahead and get this. And we're gonna unlock this one now. We're not gonna get any other upgrades because we don't need them. I'm not gonna show you the emerald sword because it's just, it's not needed. But the diamond sword is incredibly powerful. I at least get an iron sword though. You can still beat someone with a diamond sword if you have better armor. And then here, this is a really powerful one. This one right here allows you, it's a basically a more powerful weapon. It does more damage. It's a crossbow. It goes faster, further. It's more accurate. So it's tighter. It doesn't have as much of an arc. Next thing I wanna show you is the guided missile. It's a really great item. It is limited. I think it's, I think it's a limited time only item. So I'll buy some of these and then I'll show you these as well. So there's a speed potion, the jump potion, there's an invis potion, and then there's shields. Um, there's a tiny shield one that um, it's pretty good. It's still good. And it's 60 um, iron. And this one requires one emerald. These are really good. It can help you win battles. So you can see right here, if I take that, it adds a bunch of armor to you. What's nice is you don't take any damage um, health wise um, until that's gone. Invis is pretty cool. You can see if I drink this, I'm going to go invis. They can still see your weapon though. So just, you know, be careful. They can still see your weapon, whatever you're using. That's what they'll see. You can also get jump potion, which helps you jump higher. I think it's like a three block jump. And lastly, there's a speed potion, which helps you run faster. So she did confirm she's got balloons. So I'm going to go and shoot her with the guided. So you can control this. And uh, you see that little bar right there? It will run out over time. So as soon as it goes off or it'll, it'll automatically explode if I hit her. Where'd she go? Yeah, she's ballooning. That's where, that's where she's at. So she just fell. I got, I knocked her and she fell into the void. And so I'm going to show you again. This is a really fun weapon. So I'm going to do dead on. <laughs> and I could go and hit her again while she's in the air, but I'm not going to because that would be mean. Oh, she's got emerald armor. Look at, that's what emerald armor looks like. Yeah, she's out gearing me right now. Oh, I killed her. Oop. Special thanks to Till for the help on that. So I highly recommend, you know, setting up your party prior because look at this poor blue player. That's because they came in solo. So it's a good idea to come in with a party in advance. That way, even if you just grab people from the um, lobby. All right, so we got 30. I've got way too many here. I'm going to go and go straight to bow because I'm a bower. I'm a bow spammer. Bow just gives us the ability to um, knock people as you go. I wouldn't recommend going bow until you're good at bowing because it is kind of a pain. Like if you miss a lot, you're risking too much. So just get your sword get a better sword, get armor. I, I would say get armor first. If you're new, we're going to go out here straight to M's. We're going to protect those emeralds. Looks like um, Till just took out Yellow's team. There he goes. Awareness of what's around you and who's around you is incredibly important. Always be looking around to see where the enemy's at because we, the last thing you want to have to deal with is them chasing you down. So especially when you have emeralds, you do not want to get chased down. So I got two emeralds. What we're going to do is just so I don't die, we're going to get some balloons. That's what I'm saving mine for. So balloons are great because if you get knocked, at least you can float back up and not lose your stuff. All right, we're going to try to knock them. Got them. Highly recommend dropping your diamonds in front of the upgrade guy or put it inside your shared chest. I have a habit of putting them in there so people can see that they're there. I don't really like putting them in the chest because they can't see them unless they check. And it's a pretty new feature, so a lot of people aren't checking still. All right, so it's just red. It looks like Till's just owning everyone. Till just took out every single bed, just carrying. This guy's coming up on me, so I gotta get back. He's gonna try to bow spam me. I have no armor. I've hit him three times. 
Gonna get knocked. Okay, you got knocked and dead. So blue's gone. It looks like it's just um, red left. I don't have any armor, so I'm purely support right now. I'm purely harassment. And one thing I will tell you is that taking a role in your team is incredibly important. If you play squads, it's a good idea to know what your strengths and weaknesses are. If your strength is defense, just do defense. Now, if someone's already defending, get outside of your comfort zone and help, you know, break beds or get resources at least. So if you're resource gathering, at least you're helping your team out no matter what. Like you can't really fail them there because if the minimum you're doing is gearing your team, awesome. All right. So here's the party system, by the way. So you click on party and you can invite people. So right here, this is a filter as well. So see where it doesn't look like you can type anything, but you can. So that is pretty much how you play Bed Wars. Like I said, you know, there's different modes. I could show you another mode real quick and how to play it. So this is a different mode. We're probably going to lose it because I'm trying to do a tutorial. <laughs> but um, essentially what you see is there's a lot of beds. It's eight teams of two. And this is very much a rush mode. What does that mean? Well, rushing is very important. You need to be very quick to either defend or rush the enemy's bed. I highly recommend take out the other bed before they can take out yours. So pretty much you're going to see if I go out there's going to be a bed right across from us. They're going to rush us. The other thing you're going to find is sometimes you'll have diagonal rushers too. They'll come over and um, attack our bed while we're not here. So 16 is a pretty good number for us to go and rush. So we're going to start heading over. And we're going to take out their bed. And then now we're going to kill them. And we're going to head back over there, fresh. And we killed them. Now we got to get back to our base. Oh, it looks like um, Till's already going. So you want to get back to your base as soon as you can. I'm just going to take their generator real quick. And then we need a... So she's already protecting our bed, which is smart. The next target for us is going to be the next closest enemy. And that's going to be green over there. So I'm going to go and store up some armor. Um, actually, I'm going to go get a generator upgrade first. So let's go get our upgrade. We got four. So we're going to go upgrade our generator so we can get some more iron. She's going to go steal from the other generator since it's probably going to already have a queue or a pool of iron. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up for some um, TNT. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for um, an axe because I'm going to try to sneak them while they're attacking the other team over there. Then I need 10 more for TNT, and then we're gonna go take out that bed over there, that green bed. The other thing you could do is you could go straight to uh, mid and start farming M's. Super smart to do that too. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna wait for them to leave again. There's only one there, but I'm unarmored. And we're gonna go for it anyway. And two hits, boom. Got him off. And last player, took him out. I'm gonna let Teal get their generator. So now green is gone. We only have a handful of beds left to do. Now we're gonna start farming mid. Um, you gotta watch out for that player over there because they're still close enough to get us. But let's go and get this. We're gonna throw these over here. We'll go ahead and do um, break speed. Looks like someone's over here we gotta keep an eye on. So I'm gonna go over and get some M's because they can easily bridge over to us and take out our bed. So I got three M's. What we're gonna wanna get is um, probably bow and arrow. I'm gonna stick these inside my personal chest just so I don't lose them. We're gonna keep this iron on me and we'll get uh, iron armor in a little bit. It's all situational awareness. You need to know where your enemies are at all times. Keep an eye on the bridges near your base. A lot of people don't do that. And then it's incredibly important if you're gonna learn how to play this game. So I've got seven now. I just need some diamonds. Get to keep an eye on that bridge. We're gonna go back and they've been stealing from that generator. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some better armor here. I can fully upgrade, so I'm going to go here, and then we're going to get at least a stone sword. And I'm going to take out their bed. Oh, did they already take? She already took him out. Never mind. <laughs> she already got the... She's, Till's just a monster, man. Jeez. Taking everyone out. All right, well, let's get some balloons just in case I fall. And they're, this person's going to get sandwiched between us. Let's go up. They're running from me because I have diamond armor. Wow, they have anti-knockback. That's crazy. All right, now I have an iron sword. Thank you for that. Still running from me, so we're going to bridge across and try to cut them off. We're just going to bridge straight to them. All right, and got him. So GG's to Till. Till just carried on the brakes, man. Jeez. Oh, Anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. Be sure to hit that like button if it was. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, and I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.